I told my kids this story yesterday, and they said it was a shame that I didn't have the camera running when I was talking to them about it, because they would have liked their input to be heard on this. Well, let's just call this story, Be Prepared. Back when I was a young kid in the Navy, I bought myself a Triumph Spitfire, a little two-seater convertible. When I was transferring cross-country, I was in San Francisco, and I was going down to Key West, Florida. Partway into the Nevada desert, the speedometer cable went. The speedometer cable going stopped the odometer from counting 2,500 miles of that trip. The warranty on that vehicle was only 12 months or 12,000 miles. So I'm down at Key West, Florida. It's about 11 months and a week into the warranty period. I got the speedometer cable fixed. The odometer read 11,400 miles. So in theory, it was, I mean, in reality, it was well past the warranty period. My clutch starts to go with just a few weeks left in the warranty. No one down at Key West can do this service. Only place that could do the warranty service on this was in Miami. I'm looking at driving 150 miles north and realizing that when I get up there, they're going to want the warranty book. And I have the warranty book with me, but the warranty book has these places where you're supposed to get certain checkups done. 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 miles. These were all checkups that were supposed to be done, signed off. I was only 18 years old. I knew when I got up there, they were going to look at this and say, oh, sorry, we can't do this without X amount of dollars. Being a Boy Scout when I was younger and their motto being, be prepared, I thought, well, how can I prepare myself? Well, I said, I could take and put in false knowledges. I could make fake signatures, but there's a stamp. Every one of these things had a place for an authentication stamp. So I went to a local stationery store. I took them example of the stamp and I says, hey, could you make me a stamp exactly like this one? They said, yes, we can. I said, great, do it. They said, it'll cost you $5.95. I said, no problem. My daughter says, isn't that illegal? I said, no, making stamps is legal. Buying a stamp is legal. Maybe forging the signatures and forging the mileages and using the fake stamp to stamp every one of those spots in my warranty book, maybe that was a little bit fraudulent. But I prefer to think of it in a good Boy Scout motto as being prepared. I anticipated hurdles that I might run into. And I took steps ahead of time to make sure that I was able to get past these hurdles. I drove up the 150 miles to Miami I had the warranty work done. They said, we'll take care of it right, right away. It'll be done in a couple hours. No charge. I said, thank you very much. That's what I wanted to hear. Was that wrong? I don't think it was wrong. First day I had the car, the clutch died the very first day. The fact that I didn't have someone look at it and, and do those checkups at 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 miles doesn't mean shit because the clutch wasn't going to be any better or worse because of those checkups so and who the hell heard of a clutch dying after 12 months that's nuts anyway that's the story be prepared next time you're about to run into something don't walk into the situation and then come out whining because something happened to you that if you had thought about it ahead of time you could have taken steps to prevent it take charge and be prepared when you're going into situations like that. Think outside the box if you must, like I did. But think about these things before you go and put yourself in these situations. I just wanted to share that with you. Be prepared, people. Have yourself a great day. Later.